Hey guys, welcome to the next commentary. I got mid lane this game, thankfully, and I'm going to actually be playing the Vagar that I think is absolutely OP, and hopefully I'm going to be able to prove that. Uh, I've been explaining it, I think, in my two videos ago, I explained that Vagar is in a ridiculous six spot right now. He is... Wait, why is my AP... Oh, never mind. It's because I have the tier 2 runes. Never mind. Anyways, he's ridiculous right now. Uh, normally by 20 minutes you can have around 400 AP, which is... Uh, 20 minutes 400 AP is a lot of AP, to say the least. And I'm against a TF, so I should be able to just free farm unless this guy like completely destroys me, but really doubt that unless he's like a, also a smurf, but I haven't really faced any other smurfs that I've seen so far. Uh, so team comps, we'll look at them, we have a jungle riven, so we have no tank pretty much. I really is not really a tank, Alistair is in whatever. They don't really have a tank either, they have a lot better engage with Nocturne plus TF, they have a lot of good global pressure. Kogma is going to be on, so team fights, actually now that I look at it, team fights are way in their favor, so a uh, team fight for them. Nocturne ulti is in, Kogma is going to be hitting on the back line and you can't see him because of Nocturne's paranoia. TF can go in and disrupt stuff and this guy is just going to be a nuisance with his wind wall and everything. And then she has fantastic disengage for the Kogma, so that looks really good. For us, like we have good uh, disengage though, because I have my stun and then Alistair has his knockback. So it's going to be very interesting team fights. I think we do have a little bit better pick potential uh, if we play it correctly. Obviously they have really good pick potential with the TF too. But other than that, I think this should be a relatively clean game, I hope. So he's just going to blue card me. I'm just going to straight up Q him because I'm not going to take harass without harassing him back. If I don't harass him back, then I would be in a pretty bad spot. Gonna just see us. And I'm going to try to get... Uh, double stacks which is you get two minions close to dying and then you queue both of them it's a bit hard to do right now also he's not harassing me nearly as much as he should uh, I should be really getting harassed but this is fine for me because obviously I I don't want to be harassed and I get to pretty much have a free lane and just farm I'm also doing a very bad job at CSing straight up I'm gonna get my E second just in case I get ganked early there we go, got a double. Some games you can have a really good pace for Vigar and you can actually have more AP than you even have CS. Which is absolutely insane. If you actually get a lot of kills, your your AP just skyrockets. Not sure what he's doing here. He's like locking in his cards really oddly and stuff. I really doubt it's a Smurf. I just ran out of those cards for no reason, but it's fine. I'm not able to get the doubles because I keep on uh, killing the CS a little bit too slow, which is really unfortunate because I really wanted the double. Whoa, Ford, suddenly. So they have the Nocturne, I know that I'm probably not going to get ganked pre-6, so I should be okay. After level 6 I should be able to kill TF, he doesn't run any MR runes. He only has 30 MR, that's really good bot lane, nice, nice. He keeps on walking towards me, that's when I just Q him. Whenever he walks towards you, remember that TF has an auto attack, and without his auto attack, he's probably not going to get off his uh, his wild cards on you, and he needs that gold card, so... Just queuing him as he runs towards you is a really good idea. Against TF, uh... So I had my finger on the D key just in case he was going to flash. This is completely fine. He has no mana now. He has Ignite, so I know that he can't TP back in the lane, which is really good. Made him burn his flash, so now he can't flash card me when Nocturne's level 6, which is great, because that, that would have been really bad. 
is gonna uh, use my W on the. What the hell? I think they're really pinging me. <laughs> but I'm gonna try to bait this too. Alistair might be able to get him. Oh, nice, dude. And he tanked the tower for me. What a nice guy. So, got the... What is this? Get out of here. Whoa, that made my screen pop over there. Okay, so. Got the kill. We knew that he didn't fla or didn't have flash because he flashed mid, you know? And uh, tried to get me with the Nocturne. So, without any flash... Straight up stun, Alistair got the uh, pulverized knockup and combo, so my W was going to hit no matter what, which is great. I missed that cannon, which really makes me sad. I overstay, so I'm really sad, but it's still okay because I wanted that CS quite badly. Look at the CS difference, 45 to 27. That's a massive, massive CS difference already. And now I'm going to get two CDR items, which are just going to make it so I can just spam in lane. I'm also going to just TP back into lane, which is completely fine. I actually should have backed and TP'd back into lane. Well, actually, I, I wouldn't have been able to buy these wards. I'm fine with dying. It, it was really greedy for me, but, you know, I'm fine with it. I don't know why I just queued. I didn't even press it. I, like, queued it up for as soon as I landed. I'm not going to get this one. Fuck. I'm not going to get that one either. Oh. Almost walked into that, got my ward. So he's six now. What I hopefully want to do is pressure him so he can't gank anywhere. I don't want him to gank anywhere and get global pressure. It's a bit hard to do though. No, I missed it. That was so bad. If I hit that Q, I could have ultied him and killed him. I don't know how I missed that. I guess I thought it was a little tiny bit wider. It actually is a little skinny of a skill shot. It looks fat, but yeah. I guess it was a little skinny. I know that we're probably going to get this kill. That's good. Nocturne is really over level, level 7. I think it's because he killed me mid. Because you look at Riven's level, she's not even level 6 yet. But he also has 10 more CS. Oh, it's probably because he took the mid farm too. Oh man. I died right there just because of a mechanical mistake. I'm actually doing the worst on my team. I hope my team can carry me out of this. But even, uh, what's great about Vigar is even if you don't really do good on lane, you're always super relevant. You just, you snowball so hard. Like right now, I have one kill, one assist. Like, that's whatever. Could have probably gotten a little bit better. But I have 47 bonus AP already. 47 bonus AP, and probably by 10 minutes, I hope to have maybe 100 or 110. Not 10 minutes, I mean uh, like 15 minutes. An award here. <sighs> not sure where the Nocturne is going to go, but I hope it's not mid. Wing the wave just to make it so you can last it is a really good idea. Uh, they're going to get ganked bot. Maybe? Oh. I don't know where TF is. I'm just going to keep on pushing mid. I mean, I can't even TP bot. That was really a waste of time by TF. That was really bad on his part. That's really good for me. Now I'm just getting free farm and pushing in the wave and he's missing CS. This is really good. Nocturne shouldn't have ulti yet, so I'm just gonna run this way. I actually can maybe gank top. I'm actually gonna go... wait, no, never mind. I'm not gonna gank top. No, I missed my Q, but whatever. <clears throat> So I have about 30 CS more on this guy, which is great. She's gonna get a kill top. Watch out for Nocturne. Um, 
I actually can be dope too. Like Nocturne really likes me, like ga like ganking me, and <laughs> I can expect a dive actually. Like just TF straight up gold carding me under tower, and then him coming in, he would actually kill me if he decided to. Not sure if he's gonna decide to, but I also don't know where TF is. Hmm, I don't know if she was trying to give that to me because that was very, very low HP that I got it with an auto attack when I was just gonna get it with a Q. CSing really effectively, 70 C or 70 bonus AP right now, it's good. This guy's really under leveled. Ah, dang it. That Q didn't hit. I made him flash, though. Whoa, 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 get him! No! Okay, whatever, I got his flash, too. I got two flashes out of that. That's good. Whoa, whoa, whoa! No, 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 no! No, don't run that way! Don't fight! Nocturne! Nocturne will fight. No! Where is Nocturne? Oh, okay, we just got a free assist and five more AP on me. Uh, not sure why Nocturne didn't fight that. Like, Nocturne could have just turned that and killed her instantly, and I would have not been able to really help that much. But whatever. I guess it is what it is. Gonna go get my Morello Nomicon. This TF has no flash. She'll be able to kill him. My next ulti. I'm actually just gonna straight up buy this. I'm gonna TP back mid, I don't want to miss any CS. Also, TP mids are really good right now. I've I've like only played TP mids. Especially on my main account, Beacon. If you look at my match history, it's just all TP. All of them. All of my games are TP. Oh, I max E second also for the stun. Uh, your W already has a 1 to 1 ratio. No reason to... Uh, Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I thought I really was coming. I got the stun for you. Why? Okay, he's dead, though. What the hell? He just walked into us. That was a Cool. I got two more. Let's look at my AP now. 105. You can see that it's already at 100, which is way better than what I wanted at 14 or 15 minutes. I'm just starting to snowball out of control, and you can see that already I have a Morellos, that's it, and a Blasting one. Like, that's not even that many items, and I have 280 AP. One plus 110. It's absolutely ridiculous. He's so snowbally. I'm gonna buy uh, tier 2 boots now, which also is just gonna make it so I probably snowball harder. Figured you would one ball. Whoa. Where are you TPing to? What? Oh, he wanted to TP mid. What? That was a waste. Hmm. That was a very bad wall by me. It's okay though. I know that Nocturne has no uh, ulti, so it should be fine. Even if he comes in. And he is ball right now. In fact, they're all bot. I'm not even gonna roam down there. I could probably roam a little bit more, but right now I'm. I can just snowball out of control from CS. That's all I really need to do. My team's just winning, anyways. So they're just backing off. Oh, I'll kill this. I can see them. They come up too, so I'll be fine. Hmm. I'm back right here and get my boots that I really want. It's also really hard for me to uh, roam without boots. I, it would have taken me a long time to get down there. Probably the fight would have already been over, so that's also another reason why I didn't roam. I'm actually just going to rush these Alacrissi boots, just for that extra movement speed. I normally don't buy that, but I just noticed that I have a pink ward, which is good. I have a health potion, which is fine. I have down, you know, some decent vision that would help me out. And then I also just had an extra about 500 gold. Wow, that was really bad. Ah, 
Nah, I wouldn't have killed him if I ulted. Dang, that wall was barely off too. Alistair is doing a good job helping me out CS though. Thank you, Alistair. So I have 127 right now. TF1 top. Should have pinged that. That's my bad. Holy shit, there's four top. Lost vision of the fucking ward. Oh, and then it dies? Wow. Wow. Oh, wow, she actually still killed someone? Dang, I really is so strong. So I'm probably gonna roam bot after this. Because all four of them were top, now I can just go bot and kill this guy. Because they're not gonna make it faster than me. Most likely. Janna isn't gonna make it there. TF isn't gonna make it there. Yeah. Call. I don't know why Trist went so far though. I'm out. Trist went really deep for that one. I could have just one shot the Kogma. I made Janny use exhaust and Janny use flash there, which is fine. I didn't even know where TF ported. Did... Oh yeah, wow, TF is really far behind in CS. This game is probably just gonna be over. He's looking to make plays across the map, which is okay, but he's just not even CSing at this point. He's just not CSing at all right now. I'm actually gonna TP mid right now and see if I could turn this. Maybe. Oh, never mind. Wow. Almost dead. Dang, my team. Stop throwing. She died so fast. It's because she's jungle uh, ribbon, which I'm not used to. Like, if it was a normal top ribbon, man, she would have been so fine. Or she could have just ran away. Looked like even though she saw them coming, she kept on uh, trying to go for the CS. Gonna get a stealth totem, as I mentioned last video. It's just a really helpful item for just getting boards all over the place. <clears throat> I shouldn't have done the TP, I should have realized that she would die way too fast for me to even help. No, now our Aurelia is gone? Dang. Man, I can still carry this though. Oh, never mind. Welcome back. Thank god. You're really fed. So, it's good that she's back. I should just keep on farming. I don't know why I was trying to do certain plays. Oh yeah, if you just queue the raptors, you just get a random like stack. It's pretty nice. Oh, she went. Did he just flash? He had to flash. There's no way that he didn't flash there. I'm gonna get down some vision. Nocturne should have ulti. I could get ganked, but I think I'm safe. So I'm gonna head top right now with this Irelia because Nocturne might go up there as she tries to fight this guy. So this should be a pretty free kill for us. He's gonna walk past the wind wall and get the kill. He's actually pretty strong for being really underfed. Oh shit. Knock <laughs> no one knocked her into ulti me and just kill me. I don't know what bot lane's doing. So wait, they killed Kogma. That's good. But they're really deep when they do this. Really deep with no pressure. And now she's running straight into Nocturne, so she's dead. No one can come behind me, I know that. So it should be just fine farming here for a bit. So the next thing that we need to do is... Uh, I really can just split versus Yasuo and kill him, she should be able to. That should be no issue. Other people just need to pressure the map. So she can split. She has TP, right? Yeah, she has TP. I really should split push. This is what should be happening. And then we go to other lanes. And she can just uh, 1v1 him, and then we make pressure and make it so she can't get ganked. And then she could 1v1 kill him, and that's that, you know? So hopefully she adds top. 
Okay, cool. She heading. She's heading top, and then I'm gonna go mid, and then they. Yeah, Alistair can just roam around, and then Triss can pressure bot. That's all you need to do. We don't even need to get towers early. Just pressure them and make them so we could see them, and then they can't make any plays themselves. That's the best thing that we can do right now. Of course, it's really hard to navigate that or make that happen, but. Knowing what you're supposed to do can make it a lot better. Like, I'm just gonna go mid right now. This guy's probably dead, actually. Not sure why she was so pushed. Nice. I made him use his shield. That's good. TF might come up, though. <clears throat> Tristan is pressuring, but I'm gonna try to hold the next tower. Oh, it's just Kogma now. I think I should be able to kill him. Oh my god, I played that so bad. Nice. Holy shit, get away from me, please. Since I missed this stun, I'm actually not like using my stun very effectively at all. <laughs> I think I actually play better in Challenger than I do in here. Anyways. Uh, the other team caught up. How? I don't know. This guy's like... 100 CS up. Or I'm 100 CS up. And that's absolutely humongous. But like they're pressuring everyone. Oh, it's Nocturne. Nocturne is massive. Look at his CS compared to the Ribbon. He has like 60, 70, he has 70 CS on her. And remember last game when I said like I was like 40 CS and that was a lot of CS? Imagine 70 CS. That That is absolutely massive. He's so strong compared to her. Oh my gosh. My W is too strong. It one-shots the melees. We could just group now. She has... Oh. I'm gonna look for stuns. She'll be able to just catch people out like, like that. Wow, that was so close to hitting. We should be able to take this tower now. They have no wave player after he uses his Q like that. Boom, he's dead. Kill Nocturne. Auto attacker, auto attack. Look for a stun. And look for this guy. And we got them all. Probably not gonna be able to get anything off of this. So I'm just gonna back off. Got more AP from it too. You can see that I almost have 700 AP. I didn't even ulti the TF right there. You know. No. Oh, hey. I walked away because I figured uh, one auto attack. That one auto attack is gonna get him low enough that the red buff will probably kill him. Because I noticed that I one shot him last time, but I think it's because someone else damaged him like a little bit. He was full HP and then he, I didn't even ulti him so I QW'd and that did a shit ton. But I think someone else got him a little tiny bit lower, so that's what actually killed him. Red buff just ticks on him, kills him. That was a really good stun on my part actually, like straight up landed. You need to really aim it, because you wanted to get, I don't even know the icon, like maybe it's that thick part that's the stun? Or is that just a graphic? I have no clue what that is. Anyways. 
So the next thing that we should do is take dragon because it's up in 30 seconds. The thing that you want to do before you take a dragon is you always want to push out mid. You push out mid and then they're like, shit, you know, we need to push out mid because if we don't push out mid, what if they just start pushing mid? So right now we push out mid. That's what we should be doing. That's what we are doing. And then as soon as we push out mid, we go do dragon because we're going to see that they're mid and they're, you know, right here. You see, you see what they're doing? Okay. So they're just leaving the wave, which is fine. See, one person's gonna want it. One person is gonna want that wave. Now we're over here. We're in a much better, better spot than them. Damn. That was really close. But, have pretty good zoning potential. So he's dead. I'm getting engaged on. He's dead. Oh my god, my Penta, no! I knew I was gonna get a quad there too, because Alistair, man, Alistair, I love you. Holy shit, did you guys see how good and clean that he did a flash QW, which is, I heard that's harder now, so I think it's harder. And he did it straight into my wall, so they're just stunned there, and then my W comes down, and a two man Q. Hit both of them with it, so they just instantly melt and die. Damn, that was so clean. I really like this Alistar. So, uh, now that they're all dead, you know, free, take, and hit, most likely. They're all gonna be up, don't wanna overstay. They could just rush Baron, so just take this real quick. Put down a wall just in case. So, got that, now we just leave. We should leave and back and buy our our items. And why do you want to back and not keep on pressuring? It's because we just want a team fight. We're going to have a lot of money on them. She's dead. <laughs> I noticed she got stunned. So, got that. Nice. Got another kill. My AP is now almost 300. Almost 300 AP. I hope you realize how much AP a single item actually gives. I'm gonna build Void Staff next. So, Death Cap gives 120 AP. But this gives two Death Caps and a little bit more. That is how ridiculous this passive is. It is so. I have 1000 AP right now, and it's 27 minutes. 27 minute, 1000 AP. This gives me a bonus 256. So, this is. Rabadon's Death Cap right now is giving me 370 AP. That's more than TF. But that, <laughs> he has 237 AP, and my death cap, just single item, gives more than him. Actually, I think the bonus gives more. It does. It gives 8 more. Just the bonus gives 8 more AP than his entire AP. Oh my god. That's so ridiculous. Don't reset. Don't reset. Don't reset. Don't reset. Please don't reset. Thank you. I hate the new buffs that reset now. You can never do them over walls. They reset so fast, and then they won't stop resetting. They'll just keep on resetting until they reset to full HP. They don't actually let you kill them. Oh, it's insane. I'm almost level 16. I can just ulti TF and he'll die. We can bait Baron. Uh, our waves are in really bad spots. I got TP. Oh. Whoa. Oh, he's dead. Okay, or not. Am I dead? No? Oh, shit. I'm so scared. Nope, that would've hit. I really want to kill this Yasuo. Jump on him, jump on him, jump on him. Yeah, and I got the auto attack off. Nice. Good clean fight. I still have Zhonya's. Probably would have forgot to use it. I, I never expected to have Zhonya's this early either. I'm really fed. It's really weird being like really, really fed up again. Got TP. So what I'm going to do is just going to queue these waves and get a Void Staff off of that. Oh, that's not what I meant. I meant I have TP. <laughs> He's like, got TP? Yes. Oh. Oh, why are you here? I wanted to stack more. <laughs> Whatever. 
I got TP too. So I'm gonna head bot and pressure that, and then uh, no one can really fight me. If Nocturne comes, I'll, I'll probably one shot him. I think I could one shot him with all my AP. I just need to be able to do this. This is all I need to be able to do. Put it right on top of me, and then he has to walk through it. And if he walks through it, then I'll kill him. And if he walks on top of it, then I'll kill him because he'll be stunned for 2.5 seconds, which is also ridiculously long. 2.5 seconds. That's why you also max it second. Can if you get a five man stun, 2.5 seconds. That is a really, really, really long time. Actually, Yasuo might be able to one v one me. That's actually kind of scary. I hope Yasuo doesn't come down here. Fuck. We have no pressure anywhere. Okay, I'm just gonna sit inside this bush. This is a good idea. I'm just gonna sit and wait for him to push out. And I should be able to catch him with the stun or something. Oh shit. Why didn't he ulti? He could have totally killed her right there. Don't know where Yasuo is. Why isn't he bot? What the hell? Okay, they're all up there, so I'm just gonna keep on pressuring bot more. We we just see where they are right now, so I'm just freely able to push. So bot's super pressured, like super pressured. I really want to kill this guy, but it's kind of hard. They really need to pressure something because I'm I'm giving a shit ton of pressure down here because I know that like I'm probably gonna get collapsed on by like 50 people if I actually push out really far. It's even risky doing what I did right there. Like Nocturne could have been waiting just ulti me. Okay, see, see now that my team's pressuring top, then you see everybody starts splitting up. Nocturne needs to go top, but he also needs to go bot, and then it just completely fucks them over. It's like we're trying to fight though. Oh shit. Yeah, what the hell? He's TPing bot too. Ooh. I'm scared now. Okay. My team is dying. I couldn't. Ah, oh, yeah, Nocturne. Nocturne makes it so I can't do anything about that. Because I have no vision. No vision of them. Wow, he just straight up killed me so fast. I should have played that a lot better too. Trish should be able to clean both of them up. Okay, she jumped into them. Dang, the Yasuo is actually so strong. And it's just because it's the Yasuo as a champion. He, yeah, that was my fault for also not dodging anything. Wow, why is he so strong? She, he got shit on top. Okay, I'm just gonna say group now. You know, the the idea that I have behind the the split push is actually the right idea, but uh, Nocturne actually counters that too hard. I can't do anything about that. Also, I can kill anyone. If we just if I have someone lock down Yasuo, we instantly win. Oh my gosh, look how far behind the TF is. The TF is literally a stun bot. The TF does nothing but stun. That's it. He, he can't really do anything else. He's too far behind. But the Yat. Okay, so yeah, it's all Yasuo. Yasuo dies, we win. So I'm gonna probably look to actually just ult Yasuo, most likely. Why did she take that? Fuck. Stunbot. I think Triss might be able to carry this. She's not auto attacking. She's not auto attacking. She's not auto attacking. <laughs> he did a really good. I I I underestimate the TF. Honestly, I I was like, you know, this guy, he's not gonna be able to do anything.
we might actually have lost the game. I think I threw. Dang. And I can't even show off, like, I can't even say, like, that's the reason why we won the game was the Vigar pick. I actually threw so hard that we might actually lose right now. Wow. Wow, I can't believe we just lost. Okay, well, I hope you guys enjoyed the commentary. I have no idea what to say about that entire game. Uh, I mean, I did all the right ideas, but I mean, sometimes people just... Yeah, I mean, I made a few mistakes too, and I guess that's what also contributed to the fact that uh, we just couldn't win. They had a good team comp. Uh, people never really decided to want to make picks. It was more like just endlessly, like, because I made a pick. I could have caught TF there, and then Nocturne ulting in on me alone. TF can't even follow up. But everyone was mid doing, uh, something else. So I guess I should have followed them instead. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the commentary. Pretty depressing defeat, honestly. But, uh, I'll see you guys next time.